computer science students, programmers, or software engineers, a lot of the times we think that programming is the most important skill to have. After all, if you search up any of these terms up on the internet, usually the first thing that you see that describes us is a picture of us staring at a bunch of code. However, I am here to tell you today that yes, programming and coding is a huge part of what we do, but there are also other important things that we have to consider as well. To go from mediocre to an excellent programmer, coding is just not enough. Here are a few traits that I noticed from some of the best programmers that I've met. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jasmine and I run Tech Gal Diaries, where we discuss different topics on technology, self-improvement, and education. And if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. The first trait of a successful programmer is that they are able to think like a computer. Now you might be thinking, Jasmine, we're not robots here. How exactly do we think like a computer? Well, it's all about just breaking things down into steps and simplify your thinking so that the computer is able to understand the instructions that you want it to perform. You see, the thing about humans is that we are able to think in terms of gray areas, make complicated connections between different concepts, and we have feelings. Computers, on the other hand, they tend to think in terms of math and logic, zeros and ones. So we first have to be able to translate our thoughts and our instructions into code that machines understand. This may involve breaking things down into tiny little steps, identifying solutions, and using patterns and algorithms to write instructions for the computer. The second trait of a successful programmer is that they have a growth mindset. Now, what does this mean? Is that they always focus on self-development. It's not always easy to try to learn something new. However, they keep learning and they keep trying. Challenges excite them because it gives them an opportunity to grow. They don't compare themselves to other people and focus on their own path. They understand that each small improvement makes them a better programmer in the long run. The third trait of a successful programmer is that they are not afraid of making mistakes and failing. In fact, they understand that they don't know everything. They know that failure is inevitable and it is not an attack, but just feedback. They turn mistakes and failures into information so that they can use it to become better. They seek out help when they don't know something and when they run into problems. They don't try to hide the fact that they are not perfect. The fourth trait of a successful programmer is that they are dedicated to problem solving. The best programmers, when they get stuck on something, they don't just throw their hands up in the air and be like, all right, I'm done. I guess this just wasn't meant for me. No, they go all in when they are stuck on a problem. They divide and conquer, they research, they experiment with different solutions to see if the output changes. They use all the resources and information available to them to try and solve that problem. The fifth and final trait of a successful programmer is that they are not afraid to ask for help. I know a lot of us newbies, we hide away when we face a problem and we are scared to ask people for help. We want to keep up this appearance like we know everything and we're so scared of looking dumb or letting people find out that we made a mistake that we get in our own way. The most successful programmers, they know that figuring out their solution or figuring out that problem they have is way more important than trying to look smart. From Stack Overflow to Google to asking TAs, they keep trying until they find the information that they need. So I hope that these five traits helped you guys understand what it means to be a successful programmer. What's more important than any programming language or IDE or algorithm is you and your mindset. So don't let you be the only reason stopping you on this programming journey.